everybody. We are a week late, but we made it. We're back and we're gonna do this thing. It's a Trail to Tahoe update, this time week seven out of 20. And I'm gonna run you through how I'm feeling and what's going on in my life. So as you can see, I've stuck to the plan in terms of mileage. I just finished up yesterday, uh, probably two days ago by the time this video goes up, my first 70 mile week in the last 14 months. Um, it has been a long time since I've been at this kind of mileage, and that even includes weeks where I was racing a long distance race um, that kind of skew your mileage sometime. So needless to say, it's a big time in my life. I'm feeling good, and we're only going up from here. So the week that I'm currently on is 75 miles, and I'm looking forward to it. A couple things to cover. First off, I've moved into the kind of like hill specific section of my training. So I'm doing a lot of actual trails, um, at least two times a week, probably closer to three. And then I'm doing a lot of climbing and descending. So I just got done uh, with a video that you've probably seen at this point, um, including some major climbing and descending. Um, and I'm doing some hill workouts on the treadmill as well, um, just up in the incline. So I'm kind of really focusing in on, uh, on vert and climbing and descending right now. Here in a couple weeks that will change and I'll be focusing kind of on speed or speed endurance um, just to try and get a little bit more efficiency out of my legs before before we go back to Tahoe. Speaking of speed, I actually am very excited. I'm going to be racing again soon. So here in just a couple of weeks, May 12th, I believe, um, I will be headed over to Ohio, kind of southeastern Ohio. Um, where it's very hilly, kind of near to Appalachia. I don't think it's technically Appalachia, but near to um, Appalachia for the Thunder Bunny 50K, um, which has some good climbing and hopefully some good competition, and I'm really looking forward to racing that. I'm obviously going to take you guys along for the ride on that one, but also I'll kind of talk about... Uh, It'll be a little bit of a trial run for Tahoe. It's the only real long race I've got before Tahoe. So I'm generally feeling pretty good. It's at that point in time where my training is starting to take so many hours of the day that uh, I'm not having a ton of hours for other stuff. For instance, what you can't see in my apartment currently is that I'm moving apartments here very, very soon. Um, and so my apartment is a complete mess. And I haven't had a ton of time to get it packed up to move, but I am hopefully on the other end of this move. I'm going to be in a really solid spot in terms of having everything settled for a good long while to come. Mentally, I am feeling on fire for training right now. Um, the spring has helped a ton. I just want to spend as much time as I can outside, and it helps too that I'm kind of pushing the upper limit of what I've been capable of doing in the past couple years, so it's interesting. Everything kind of feels very, um, like I'm looking very closely at everything just because I'm kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. So. Not that uh, 70 used to be not a huge deal in, in college, but when you're doing it in a really long, long run um, and you haven't been there in a couple of years, it can make me, uh, makes me a little bit nervous, but nervous in the best way. Like I'm, I, I talked about this actually to a friend the other day. Um, I know for a fact after last week, after that 70 mile week, um, that included a really hard mile repeat session, um, a really hard session of climbing and descending and then a long run of 23 miles the very next day. Um, I know after I got through that, that I am in the best shape I've been in in probably three years. Um, and maybe the best shape ever for for long distance stuff. Um, I'm not gonna PR on the 5K, but I think so far things are going really well. I don't wanna jinx it, so I should find some fake wood to knock on, but I do think very honestly that I'm in the best shape I for ultra marathons that I've ever been in. Um, and yeah, and we're only going up from here. These next 10 weeks, I think as of today, we've got maybe 91, 92 days until, uh, until Tahoe. So these next three months are going to be incredible and I cannot wait, specifically the next 10 weeks of workouts and then we've got a couple weeks of tapering. But uh, I hope you're as excited about it as I am. I. I'm on fire for life right now, and I'm even like recovering pretty well. I'm mean, actually sleeping eight hours a night and stuff too. So that's a beautiful thing when you can get both. You can be on fire for life and also not staying up all night. <laughs> so, anyways, I am gonna wrap this update up. I know we're a week late. I was gonna do this every two weeks. Um, what I'll probably do is wait until week ten now that we've uh, that we've updated it um, and, and been kind of a week behind. Um, I'll probably wait another three weeks and then I'll try and get back on schedule. So, but we'll see. You'll see, uh, you'll know as much as I do. I will see you guys in a video very soon. All right, later.